So if you want a very crisp wing like that, where you can, it almost looks like it's the powder version of liquid eyeliner, right? Like liquid, liquid eyeliner, it's gonna have a really sharp edge. This has a pretty sharp edge, about as sharp as you can get for still being powder. Let's just do a sunscreen this morning because I'm a little short on time and I want to do a full face. I was debating whether or not I wanted to exfoliate and all that this morning, but I think um, I need to uh, hopefully get a workout in later and then I'll um, shower and all that after I work out. And if that's the case, then I'm probably going to spend some time later today doing uh, dermaplaning my skin and like just cleaning everything up. So I'm not going to bother with all that this morning. I'll do that later if I get some time. Later today means um, like eight, eight, nine o'clock at night basically for me, by the way, because I have children. So there's that. All right, I'm putting a primer on. This is my go-to Tom Ford primer. I'm in desperate need of getting my nails done. They're super long, so they need to be cut down slightly. That's honestly not the part that bothers me the most. The part that bothers me, like if they were, if they're this long and filled in, it's not bad, but they are um, long overgrown. I guess I don't get acrylics. These, this is, these are my natural nails. These are my actual nails, but um, I get dip on top, so they're thicker, so the dip grows out. And it is time for a fresh dip. I mean, I've probably had these on for a month at this point. Like, you're supposed to go every two to three weeks. But it has been a minute. I've noticed lately it's not blending that great on my neck. Kind of in general, I don't know if it's the beauty blender or if it's um, sort of dry skin. That's not so okay on the face, but I'm thinking it's uh, I need to be putting more lotion on Put the lotion on the skin at night. Okay, that's blended in enough I'll blend that with a couple of lighter shades And do porcelain under the eye to brighten these babies up because I'm exhausted I stayed up till midnight last night once again not not incredibly late, but I mean, honestly, I should be going to bed earlier just because of the time that I have to wake up to get the kids ready and off to school. I mean, that and inevitably the kid, one of the kids is going to come down in the middle of the night, you know. That's, that's a given. I know this at this point. We're five years in. You think that'd be a learned lesson, but somehow it shocks me every morning when I'm exhausted. Surprisingly, no child came down last night, though. But Veda did come down at six this morning, and so, you know, over time. You miss those hours and should be going to bed earlier, but I don't know that I'll ever learn my lesson. It's just because that's like your kind of like passive aggressive mommy time of like, if I want to binge watch Ted Lasso for a couple of hours, I've got to do that at nine o'clock at night, you know, which is exactly what I did. We just finished the second season of Ted Lasso last night, which it's taken us a really long time to hop on that bandwagon. Very much enjoying Ted Lasso. It's just like a nice, mindless show, kind of. That sounds mean. That sounds like a mean review. It's not intentional to be a mean review. Um, it's just like a nice escape show, you know, uplifting in all the right ways. Although it's getting a little dark. The last two or three episodes, we were like, oh, it's kind of a little bit more of the personal lives. Getting a little darker. Season one was very much just like, everybody's happy. And now we need another lightweight show to watch although i haven't been keeping up with my uh, housewives so i'm pretty sure i've got some drama there to catch up in so i watched beverly hills and orange county and utah oh god utah those ladies but i watch beverly hills and um oc yeah it was orange county right now so it's currently on i think oc is probably wrapped but i'm so far behind it's still happening for me so i need to get caught up on those two See what all the housewife drama is about because i'm seeing a lot of memes about people not liking uh diana the new the new beverly hills housewife and i've only watched a couple of episodes but i'm liking her so i want to know what's going on why don't we like diana okay this is stunning vibes palette i'm not going to use any of these bright shades today we're going to go pretty basic with um with the neutrals and the browns but the option is there this is a nice day to night palette, you know? Can do more of a neutral look in the daytime, spice it up with some blues. 
circles if you're going to a club. But I'm going to work, so we're going to temper that, you know? You feel? Man, it is, I'm definitely struggling this morning. I'm super tired. Part of it's my own doing, staying up so late. I just, I just needed to lay in bed and watch TV, you know? I've actually had quite a few conversations with people at work that are like kind of all feeling that way. Just like, I don't know if demotivated is the right word, but sort of disengaged. Maybe it's everything going on in the world or I don't know if it's just people that I work with because I guess it's not, it's not very private, but um, you know, we're calling for intensity at Facebook in terms of how we work and what we output and deliver just because of the sort of macroeconomics of the world. We're a bit on edge because of that. I mean, just gen probably everywhere too. Like the big recession word is being thrown around a lot and freaking people out, rightfully. So how are responding? But I, I mean, I just had a conversation yesterday with a coworker, and it was very much the same. Like kind of just demotivated, disengaged, and it's hard to pinpoint why. And I also don't necessarily want to solve it. All I want to do is just go get in bed and watch Ted Lasso. But it's not an option. Got to rally. That's why I'm here, putting on makeup. Also, my first meeting's at 9 o'clock, or else I probably would have stayed in bed for another at least 30 minutes. Try to make the most of it. All right, we're going to do a little bit of under eye smudging here. Between lights and contacts, I'm like, ooh. Okay. And then let's do a little bit of blending up top it's a good little tip if you blend away too much of your transition shade you know by putting like highlighter or something under the brow just like barely dab your transition shade and kind of tap it and then lightly go over it and you can kind of like create that gradient very very lightly um all right we're gonna do some mascara uh, just a little bit on the edges. I actually kind of like this light look. I've already done the eyeliner, but I could have just gone with like a light mascara look over this. And I feel like it would have been pretty, but here we are. We're going to do the signature Mish wing. Yeah. I wanted a really crisp wing. So I'm using the um, this like jet black color in the Stunning Vibes palette. It's super pigmented. So if you want a very crisp wing like that, to where you can, it almost looks like it's the powder version of liquid eyeliner, right? Like liquid, liquid eyeliner, it's gonna have a really sharp edge. This has a pretty sharp edge, about as sharp as you can get for still being powder. Um, use a super, super pigmented um, shadow. Like a lot of times I do the same look or the same wing and smudge look, but I'll use more of like a, like a dark brown or a gray. And so it looks very smudged and you can tell it wings up, but it's like it's the edges are kind of pressed into the shadow itself or deeper, like a smoked out in the corner or something. So it's not very, um, like it's not a very clean cut, but there's like a distinct line there. It's all in the pigment I have found. Add in a little bit of cleanup underneath here with my contour kit. Keep that wing nice and crisp. So if you have been watching me maybe for, well, I guess it wouldn't be on this channel since we just moved, but um, I mean, for a long time, I've been doing this like low bun situation mostly because my hair has been super super short and it's like kind of the only thing I can do to put it up my hair has thankfully grown out a little bit and I'm now able to put it in kind of like a high pony or bun situation not quite how I w used to or want to wear my hair but better than nothing and that's what I've been doing lately so I haven't been doing as much of this like low bun situation but I've been seeing everywhere that people are doing the Hailey Bieber. Maybe it's Hailey Bieber. I don't, I don't know. God, I'm so freaking out of touch. But um, doing like the Hailey Bieber challenge with um, her hairstyle. 
because she's known for like the slick back bun and all of that. We can do our low bun, the Hailey Bieber, or some other celebrity inspired look. Although I'm not really inspired. I've been doing this for a minute, okay? People just don't know who I am. One day, when I take over the tech world, Brow whiz, let's go. Oh. All right, let's do a little bit of highlighter on the cheeks and then we'll toss on some mascara, lips, and rock this low bun look. Very good, very good. And I think this might be our last day with our sample here of our Bite Mascara. I've been using this for about a week. I, think it, I mean, it's a good trial size, but I think I've hit the limit. It's very difficult to apply with this miniature wand, but I'm over here making magic somehow. Ha ha ha. Particularly hard in the lower lashes. That's where I'm really struggling with this. All right, let me move the outside edges a little bit. Try to build these up. Need a little bit more drama. Yeah, I like this mascara, but it's very just like what you see is what you get. It's not like a, it's not building. It's not creating like a lot of length and drama. It's dark and it, it's good volume and stuff, but it's just, it's not, I don't know that it's emphasizing my lashes other than putting color on them. Just very average, you know? I think I'm gonna do uh, kind of a subtle lip today. This is the Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna overdraw that line a little bit. I'm gonna use the uh, nudie stick that I used yesterday in the, oh wait, I almost picked up the wrong one. Okay, I, didn't, I made that mistake yesterday. I used Sunkiss and I wanted the Peach Peony, which is this one. So I'm gonna use this one first. Yeah, that's what I wanted, kind of more of that peachy look to blend into that nude. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use my uh, Physician's Formula Diamond Plumper in whatever the heck shade this is, Pink Radiant Cut to add a little bit of a pink tone to it. This is almost translucent gloss. Like you can see as I smear it, that color dissipates a good bit. Cause I just wanted like a hint of pink in it, but not to be overly pinky on the lip. So that's why I mixed that peach and pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the face, Urban Decay All Nighter. In my case, all dayer. All right, let's do this. Okay, first steps first, we can brush this out. Like so, very clean. I want this front part to look very clean and crisp. Clean and crisp enough for Zoom meetings. I could do a better job than that, but I'm not going anywhere, you know. I'm pretty much gonna just tease up the crown. Not too much, but just enough to where it doesn't look, if I pull my hair back, I don't wanna look like colonial, you know? I wanna have a little bit of volume. Okay, I would prefer to use a ponytail holder. It's the color of my hair, just so I'm not having to hide it as much, but I am all out of blonde ponytail holders, so this is what I got. All right, so I usually put one in into a pony and then kind of twist around and take a second pony to sort of seal that. And I can kind of tug on the hair to get a little bit more stuff to work with back there for pinning it. It may look like I'm going completely blind, but actually the angle of my shower, I can see from my husband's mirror over there how it's looking. So I'm taking kind of like a, an educated guess on how this is gonna pan out, but I will check it in the mirror. That's unfortunate right there, that part. Let's see if I can pull that down in my pen. I like it to have like a little bit of this kind of stuff coming out, so. Let's double check how it's looking in the back. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. You can see the, the black pony underneath, which is not my fave. If I was like, I'm going on Zoom meetings. If I was going out somewhere or like trying to wear this for more of a look, I would, I would deal with that. But, you know, not a huge priority right now for my work Zoom calls. So. All right, I'm gonna toss on some earrings with this just to give it a little bit more of a touch, probably spray and stuff like that too. Um, and then I'll put on a look to make it, uh, make it feel a little bit more finished. But, all right, 
Thanks for watching. I've got to run to a 9 a.m. meeting, so I gotta get the heck out of here. But if you enjoyed getting ready with me today, please uh, join me tomorrow. I'm here every day, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Roughly, you know, I've got kids, come on. And if you wanna see any of our past videos or makeup clips, you can head on over to my YouTube channel, um, Makeup with Mish, or my Instagram, at Mish America, and see final looks as well as before and afters. Thanks for watching, and see you guys tomorrow. Bye.